Hare Krishna, welcome all devotees. Today we are going to start first chapter and first verse. Dhritarashtra Vacha Dharma Kshetre Kuru Kshetre Samaveta Yuyutsavaha Amaka Pandavas Chaiva Kim Akurvata Sanjaya Dhritarashtavacha Dharma Kshetre Kuru Kshetre Samaveta Yuyutsavaham Mamaka Pandavas Chaiva Kimakurvata Sanjaya Dhritarashtavacha Dharma Kshetre Kuru Kshetre Samaveta Yuyutsava Mamaka Pandavas Chaiva Kimakurvata Sanjaya Someone from Mataji's Somebody else? Okay. Anybody else want to? Okay. Anybody else want to recite? Okay, so Dhritarashtra Vacha King Dhritarashtra said Dharma Kshetre in the place of pilgrimage, Kurukshetra, in the named Kurukshetra, in the place named Samavetha, assembled, Yutsa, desire to fight, Mamaka, my parties, Pandava, the sons of Pandu, Cha, and Eva, certainly, Kim, what, Akurvata, did they do, Sanjaya, O Sanjaya. So I will read the translation, translation by Srila Prabhupada, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Dhritarashtra said, O Sanjaya, after my sons and the sons of Pandu assembled in the place of Pilikramesh at Kurukshetra, desiring to fight, what did they do? Purport. Purport by Srila Prabhupada. Bhagavad Gita is widely read theistic signs summarized in Gita Mahatya, glorification of Gita. There it says that one should read Bhagavad Gita very scrutinizingly with the help of Yeah. 
Bhagavad Gita very scrutinizingly with the help of person who is a devotee of Sri Krishna and try to understand it without personally motivated in, uh, interpretations. The example of clear understanding is there in, in the Bhagavad Gita itself. In the way the teaching is understood by Arjuna who heard the Gita directly from the Lord. If someone is fortunate enough to understand Bhagavad Gita in that line of, of disciplic succession without motivated inter interpretations, then he surpasses all studies of Vedic wisdom and all scriptures of the world. One will be one will find in the Bhagavad Gita all that is contained in other scriptures. But the reader will also find things which are not to be found elsewhere. That is the specific standard of Gita. It is the perfect theistic science because it is directly spoken by the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Krishna. The topics discussed by Dhritarashtra and Sanjaya as described in the Mahabharata from the basic principles of this great philosophy. In It is understood that this philosophy evolved on the battlefield of Kurukshetra, which is sacred place of pilgrimage from the immemorial time of Vedic age. It was spoken by the Lord when he was present personally on this planet for the guidance of mankind. The word The word Dharma Kshetra, a place where religious rituals are performed, is significant because on the battlefield of Kurukshetra, the Supreme Personality of Godhead was present on the, on the side of Archuna. Dhritarashtra, the father of Kurus, was highly doubtful about the personality of his son's ultimate, ultimate victory. In his doubt, he inquired from his secretary, Sanjaya, what did they do? He was confident that both his sons and the sons of his younger brother Pandu were assembled in the field of Kurukshetra for their determined engagement of war. Still, his inquiry is significant. He did not want a compromise between a cousins and brothers and he wanted to be sure of the fate of his sons on the battlefield because the battle was arranged to be fought at Kurukshetra, which is mentioned elsewhere in Vedas as a place of worship. Even for the denizens of heaven, Dhritarashtra became very fearful about the influence of the holy place on the outcome of the battle. He knew very well that this would influence Arjuna and the sons of Pandu favorably. because. By nature, they were all virtuous. Sanjaya was a student of Vyasa and therefore, by the mercy of Vyasa, Sanjaya was able to envision the battlefield of Kurukshetra even while he was in the room of Dhritarashtra. And so, Dhritarashtra asked him about the situation on the battlefield. Both Both the Pandavas and the sons of Dhritarashtra's being belong to the same family, but Dhritarashtra's mind is disclosed herein. He deliberately claimed only his sons as Kurus and he separated the sons of Pandus from the family heritage. One can thus understand the specific position of Dhritarashtra in his relationship with his nephews, the sons of Pandu. As in the Paddy field, the unnecessary plans are taken out so it is expected from the very beginning of these topics that in the religious field of Kurukshetra where the father of religion Sri Krishna was present, the unwanted plans like Dhritarashtra's son, Duryodhana and others would be wiped out and the thoroughly religious persons headed by the Yudhirishthara would be established by the Lord. This is the significance of the words Dharma Kshetre and Kurukshetre. 
apart from their historical and Vedic importance. I'll see this. Okay. O Madhyana Timirandasya, Jnana Jana Shalakaya, Chakshurun Militam Yena, Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaham, Sri Chaitanya Manobishtam, Satitam Yena Bhutale, Swayam Rupa, Maiham Dadati Swapadantikam, one day, Ham Shri Guru, Shri Utapadakamalam, Shri Vaishnavasya, Shri Rupam Sagrajatam, Sahagana Ragnadan Vitam, Tam Sajivam, Sadvaitam Sabadutam, Parijana Sahitam, Shri Krishna Chaitan Vadhevam, Shri Ratha Krishna Padam, Sahagana Lalita, Shri Vishakan Vitasya, E Krishna Kuruna Sindho Dina Bando Jagatpati, Gopesha, Gopika, Kanta, Ratha, Kanta, Namostuti, Taptakanchana, Gaurangi, Radhe, Brinda, Vareshwari, Shamasuti, Devi, Kamami, Kalpataru, Yasha, Krupa, Sindhu, Jayevacha, Patitanam, Pavane, Pyo, Vaishnavi, Pyo, Name, Namaha. Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swamin Yetinamine Namaste Saraswate Devi Gauravadi Pecharine Nirvisesha Shunyavadi Pastyavyare Shatarine Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Akvaita Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare 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 Krishna Thank you very much everyone So today's Topic is Dhritarashtra inquiring Sanjaya about what is happening in the field of Kurukshetra. Okay. So while Dhritarashtra was talking, we need to understand some of the facts about Dhritarashtra here. So first of all, if you see in this verse, Dhritarashtra is talking to Sanjaya. So now I think we all know very well who is Dhritarashtra and who is Sanjaya, right? I don't have to talk much about Dhritarashtra and Sanjaya, right? So, Bhagavad Gita is such a great scripture. In the purport also, Srila Prabhupada mentioned that the Bhagavad Gita is the one scripture which if you read, you don't have to read anything else. Okay. So, Bhagavad Gita covers everything. Provided you hear it from or you speak it or you understand it from a devotee. Okay. And you understand it in the mood where Arjuna was. If you can understand in that mood, Bhagavad Gita is everything. You don't have to read any other scriptures. In fact, Srila Prabhupada is telling in the purport that Bhagavad Gita contains the matter which is not there in other scriptures also. So, that much full in uh, Bhagavad Gita. So, if you go little into the Bhagavad Gita, uh, uh, Mahabharat, then you will understand the character of uh, Dhritarashtra. So, First of all, when Krishna started speaking such a great scripture, which is Bhagavad Gita, the first verse is spoken in this Bhagavad Gita by Dhritarashtra. Okay. Secretary. Yeah. So, first verse is speaking, spoken by Dhritarashtra. So, why such a great scripture was spoken by Dhritarashtra at the beginning? Why should it be Dhritarashtra? Why not it be by Arjuna or Krishna directly? So, do you all like uh, Dhritarashtra? No, right? So, we all know the character of uh, Dhritarashtra. So, I will try to explain why Krishna kept 
Dhritarashtra's verse in the first, first chapter, first verse as Dhritarashtra, Dhritarashtra Vacha. Actually, if you see Dhritarashtra and his brother Pandu, okay, so one of these two should be should become the king of uh, Kurukshetra, sorry, uh, Hastinapur. But because Dhritarashtra was blind, so Dhritarashtra cannot become king. By birth, he is blind. So he cannot become king. So, younger brother, Pandu has to become king. So then, with this, Dhritarashtra was unhappy. He wanted to become king because he is elder in the family and he should be the king. But because Pandu is a pious guy and he understands the desire of Dhritarashtra, Pandu said, you rule the kingdom. I will go and fight the battles and I will go and uh, hunt in the forest. Okay. So that although I am the king, but you will be taking care of the kingdom in my absence when I am going to the war fields and I am going to the forest. Okay. So that way, Dhritarashtra was little happy. Because Dhritarashtra wanted to rule the kingdom, Hastinapur kingdom. Dhritarashtra was little happy. Somehow he is convinced. But whenever Pandu comes back, whenever Pandu comes back, Dhritarashtra has to leave his seat and give the seat to Pandu. So in, in that way, he is again disappointed. So it happened in one day that Pandu went to the forest when the war field was not there. Generally, Kshatriyas, right? They hunt in the forest. Why they hunt in the forest is to practice the uh, war, you know, arts, war arts like uh, uh, you know, shooting, all these things, they have to practice. So they practice on the animals. So when they are practicing in the animals, they, uh, Pandu was cursed by one of the Rishi, saying that, you know, you instead of you hunting an animal, you shoot an uh, arrow on us. So I am cursing you so that, uh, you know, whenever you meet your wife intimately, then you will die. This is the curse given to Pandu. So, when Pandu got this curse, he was not having any sons. Okay. Pandu did not have any sons. So, and Dhritarashtra was also not having sons. So, now, uh, Dhritarashtra had a hope that if not he becomes a king, at least his sons can become sons, uh, kings. Right? Because Pandu anyway cannot get sons because if he meet his wife intimately, then he will be dying. dying. So he will not meet. So Pandu has no chance of getting sons. So I will get the sons and then uh, my sons will become kings. This is the hope that uh, Dhritarashtra had. But unfortunately, what happened? Pandu was blessed with five sons to the mercy of uh, Devatas. Okay. So, Pandu's sons are uh, these five, Yudhishthara, Bhima, Arjuna, Nakula and Sahadeva. These are the five sons. So, this is a bad news for Dhritarashtra because Dhritarashtra was not having any sons by then. So, uh, by then uh, Yudhishthara and uh, Bhima are already born. So, then Dhritarashtra was very unhappy and um, the, the name Dhritarashtra, Dhrita means Dhrita means strong, strong holding, okay, attachment. Rashtra means kingdom. So, Dhritarashtra, the name itself says the nature of the person, okay. So, Dhritarashtra means a person who has an attachment, strong attachment towards the kingdom, okay. So, that is the nature of uh, Dhritarashtra. So, what happened later when he got 100 sons? But these hundred sons are younger sons in the family, younger people in the family. So they cannot be given as a, uh, they cannot be, you know, promoted to the kings. They cannot become princes. Okay. So only Pandu's sons, Yudhishthira becomes a prince. So now, now this is another disappointing factor for uh, Dhritarashtra. So that is the reason Dhritarashtra was unhappy. So this is known to Dhritarashtra's sons, hundred sons, out of which Duryodhana is the elder one. Okay. 
So now Duryodhana wanted to satisfy himself and Duryodhana wanted to satisfy his father. So what he has done? He has done by all means to kill Andavas from the childhood. Okay. But somehow he could not succeed in killing the Pandavas. So Pandavas have grown and Pandavas are about to become the kings. So now what happened? Dhritarashtra was anyways unhappy and Duryodhana had planned a you know, dice game. Okay, Duryodhana planned a dice game so that by cheating he can send them out of the uh, you know kingdom and they can rule. They can continue to rule. Okay, so far as an in-charge king, Dhritarashtra was already ruling because when Pandu was not there and Yudhishthira has not become king, so Dhritarashtra was uh, you know ruling on the king's behalf. But he is not king, but on the behalf of king. Nidrasha was somehow ruling. So, so, this has to be continued. And the kingdom should be given to his sons only. This is the desire of Dhritarashtra. Okay. So, now in this, you know, gambling game, uh, Duryodhana sent the Pandavas to, uh, you know, exile. Aranya and Ajnata Vasa. Okay. So, they could not come back till another 13 years. So, they are ruling. So, the Pandavas completed 13 years and they came back. When they came back, uh, dharma is that they have to hand over the kingdom back to Pandavas. Okay. That also did not happen. So, they don't want to give. So, the war has to be started. So, the context for why Dhritarashtra is asking this question is because there is a war happening in the war field which is Kurukshetra. Between Pandavas and Kauravas. So, Dhritarashtra cannot see. By the mercy of uh, Vyasadev, Sanjaya could see. Because Sanjaya was given a divine vision. So, with the divine vision, Sanjaya can see what is happening in the battlefield. So, Sanjaya was a, um, in a secretary of Dhritarashtra. So, Dhritarashtra started asking questions to Sanjaya so that he can know what is happening in the war field. Okay, this is how Dhritarashtra is going to know what is happening. So now we understand the character of Dhritarashtra. So now let us understand uh, the nature that you know Dhritarashtra is basically materially attached person. He wanted everything. He wanted to rule the kingdom and he wanted to give everything to his sons. So all this cheating. In fact, when uh, Pandavas were in uh, Ajnatavasa, Aranyavasa, Dhritarashtra has written a letter to Yudhishthira. So, in that letter, he has written very politely, very nicely, he has written, saying that Yudhishthira, you are a son of uh, Dharmaraj, right? Yamadharmaraj, you are son of Yamadharmaraj. Yamadharmaraj has blessed Kunti Devi so that um, Yudhishthira was born. So, you are son of Yamadharmaraj. That means you follow rich, uh, 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 dharma. You follow dharma. So you you know what is right, what is wrong. So in any case, if my sons don't offer you back the kingdom, don't fight with them. Okay, just go out and then take uh, and become a beggar and uh, beg in the other uh, states, other uh, kingdoms. Okay, because uh, you are such a great person, you can accept this. This is what, uh, you know, Dhritarashtra has written a letter to uh, Yudhishthira. So, Yudhishthira was very respectful for uh, Dhritarashtra because he is uh, uh, his father's brother, okay, elder brother. So, he treats him as if he is a father. So, but in any case, uh, as a courtesy, they went and asked for the kingdom, but they have not given the kingdom. So Krishna was in the side of Pandavas and suggested them to, you know, fight so that they can get kingdom. So why Krishna wanted Pandavas to fight against Kauravas is because, you know, Kauravas are so bad, so cruel guys, if they rule the kingdom, the people will not be happy. So that is the main reason for why. Uh, 
Krishna wanted Pandavas to rule. So then the kingdom will be happy. People in the kingdom will be happy. Okay? Everyone will be pious. So this is the reason Krishna wanted Pandavas to win against Kauravas. So for that, Krishna went as a peace messenger to Hastinapur to ask for the kingdom. But uh, Dhritarashtra did not give because he said, you know, uh, Duryodhana does not want to give. So I cannot do, I cannot be helpful in this. So somehow, you know, without any religion, uh, without any dharma, the, so they, they are just, you know, uh, you know, they are just following the dharma and they have not given the kingdom. So this war has started. Okay. So everybody assembled in the battlefield. The name of the battlefield is Kurukshetra. The name of the battlefield is Kurukshetra. If you see the verse, Dhritarashtra is asking, Dharma Kshetre Kurukshetre. Okay. So there is a story behind this Kurukshetra. There is a story behind this Kurukshetra. Kurukshetra is not a normal place. Kurukshetra is a pilgrimage. Kurukshetra is Dharma Kshetra. Actually, if you understand how the name Kurukshetra has come to the battlefield, there is a king called Kuru. Okay. So, the Kuru, from the Kuru's dynasty only these Kauravas came. Okay. All these Hastinapura rulers are Kauravas. Actually speaking, Yudhishthira and his brothers are also supposed to be Kauravas because they are also belongs to the same family, same uh, 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 dynasty. Okay. So, these should also become Kurus. But, in this verse, Dhritarashtra is selling, saying, my sons and Pandavas sons, Pandavas, Kauravas, see, he is giving, his hundred sons are Kauravas, but Pandu's sons, five are not Kauravas. That means, he is dividing there itself. He is saying, Pandu's sons are not supposed to rule the kingdom which is coming from Kuru. Because my sons are Kauravas. Okay. So, Kauravas are those who are in the dynasty of Kuru. So, how the Kurukshetra battlefield has happened? Why is it Dharmakshetra? If you understand, there are two pastimes that will give us the details of Kurukshetra. The one, the first one is the king Kuru went to the place, uh, this, this battlefield. And he wanted to cultivate dharma in that battlefield. Like farming he wanted to do. In the farming, he want to plant dharma. Okay. He want to plant dharma. So that uh, the, the, Kuru, the, the Kuru dynasty will rule as per dharma. And all the people in the Kuru, in the Astinapur will follow dharma. Okay. So then uh, he went with the golden chariot. And um, with the golden chariot, after he reaching there, he made a plow with uh, the golden chariot and then he started plowing the uh, farm, field. So then Vishnu came, Narayan, and he asked Kuru, what are you doing? He is saying, I am trying to plant dharma here. Then Narayan said, give me the seeds, I will plant. Okay. Then Kuru said, Kuru has given his right leg. So then Vishnu cut his right leg and planted. Then he said, Vishnu said, the planting of the right leg itself is not sufficient for cultivating the dharma here. So I need more. More seeds. Then Kuru has given left leg. Then Vishnu cut the left leg. And he planted the left leg also into the uh, field. Then he said, still more seeds are required. Then he has given right hand. Then he has given left hand. So, Kuru's right leg, left leg, right hand, left leg, left hand was cut by Vishnu and planted in the Kurukshetra. So, now Vishnu said, what more you can give? Then Kuru has given his head. So, then Vishnu was impressed with what Kuru has done. Then Vishnu has made him normal. And he got his legs back, his hands back and he has blessed Kuru saying that anybody who comes to this place will become pious. 
anybody who fight war in this uh, battlefield they will go to swarga okay so anybody who fight here dharma and adharma fights right so only dharma will win adharma cannot win in this place so that is the history behind the kurukshetra okay so that's why dhritarashtra knows this story that's why dhritarashtra was very unhappy the influence of the field kurukshetra might be the reason for his sons kurus to lose the game because he knows very well pandavas are dharma side and kauravas are adharma side adharma cannot win in kurukshetra because kurukshetra is dharma kshetra right kurukshetra is dharma kshetra so adharma cannot win so he knows that still he want to fight there is a hope he want to fight we all know right we all being materialistic people we don't follow dharma to get something what we want right sometimes we follow adharma also to get what we want but the fact is adharma cannot ne can never win only dharma can win okay so and another fear in the dhritarashtra's mind is that the influence of kurukshetra might cause duryodhana to go and uh, you know compromise with uh, uh, pandavas okay if what what will happen if he goes and compromise with pandavas pandavas will win pandavas will rule the kingdom and kauravas become servants of pandavas okay this also he does not want so he is worried let us say if you are sitting in the dining table and kept your plates ready and uh, your food was served and if i ask you what are you doing what will you say what will you say eating, eating only right so in the battlefield kauravas and pandavas are standing but still kuru in 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 uh, duryodhana's question sorry dhritarashtra's question he is asking what are they doing it is as if he is asking you know what are they doing when they are sitting for food eating food <laughs> okay so everybody knows they are going to fight they are standing they are observing the fields okay they are observing the battles uh, sorry uh, army so it is obvious that they will fight but uh, but uh, dhritarashtra is asking what are they doing it is because he is anxious of knowing what is going to happen is it not the case that my sons are going and asking pandavas for uh, compromise okay so he does not want compromise they have to fight and kaurava should win and kaurava should rule the kingdom this is the reason dhritarashtra is telling asking what are they doing and uh, the nature of the dhritarashtra can be seen from one verse in this verse we can see that he is so envious on pandavas and he is so materialistic that he only want to rule and his sons only want to rule and he is attached so much to his kingdom so his nature can be clearly understood and then he asked one more question here mamaka pandavas chaiva mamaka pandavas chaiva means kim kurvata sanjaya kim kurvata sanjaya he is asking sanjaya kim kurvata what are they doing okay what is the question mamaka pandavas chaiva my sons and pandavas sons okay my sons and pandavas sons if you observe actually the pandavas were not having father right so pandavas when they were at the childhood only they lost their father okay so so uh, 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 the pandavas when they were at a small age when they don't have a father who is be you know taking care of pandavas just like a father dhritarashtra should be taking care of pandavas as a father because dhritarashtra is a elder brother to pandu and the pandu's sons are obviously becoming the sons of dhritarashtra when in the absence of pandu right he has to take care as if he is a father so he should say my sons whether it is a pandavas or kauravas he should say all are my sons right all are my sons he should say but dhritarashtra is not telling all are my sons dhritarashtra is saying my sons and pandavas sons pandu sons then there itself he is separating the family 
so he is not treating the pandavas as part of the family that's why he is treating only kauravas as his family so pandavas are not his family pandavas are pandu's family <laughs> pandu is not his family so he is separated here he separated the family here so that is another nature so today if you see we all observe the families like this only so nuclear families right so who is father who is mother my family is different my father family is different today people are treating like even the brothers also they are not together they are different they are earning different they are spending different they are enjoying different they don't consider it as whatever i earn belongs to my brother whatever my brother earn belongs to me it's all one nobody treats in that way right so this nature we also have whatever dhritarashtra's nature right it is not that only dhritarashtra has we started hating looking at the dhritarashtra's character right we started hating because dhritarashtra is not treating pandavas as his sons but if you question ourselves are we treating our family members as our family not all that means if you hate dhritarashtra we should hate ourselves right we should hate ourselves also so bhagavad gita started with dhritarashtra because it is for the people who are like dhritarashtra it is for the people who are like dhritarashtra it is for the people like us it is for the people who actually separate the family it is for the people who are envious about getting everything in the material world it is for the people who are attached materially for everything whatever i earn is mine whatever you earn is also mine okay if you are in that mode then this bhagavad gita is meant for such people that is the reason krishna has started bhagavad gita with first verse with dhritarashtra and if you see the mood of dhritarashtra here the mood of dhritarashtra is that he want to hear what is happening in bhagavad in in the battlefield that means shravanam he want to hear he want to hear that's why he is asking sanjaya tell me what is happening that means the mood of dhritarashtra is he is in the mood of hearing what is he going to hear he is going to hear the conversation between krishna and arjuna right so what is the conversation between krishna and arjuna the conversation between krishna and arjuna is bhagavad gita right that means dhritarashtra is now about to hear bhagavad gita right dhritarashtra is about to hear bhagavad gita so for the people like dhritarashtra it is must that one should hear bhagavad gita okay that's why krishna started bhagavad gita with dhritarashtra swas this is bhagavad gita is started with dhritarashtra swas so now dhritarashtra is ready to hear what is happening in the battlefield what is going to happen in the battlefield next before they start fighting krishna speaks with arjuna and what he is going to speak is bhagavad gita okay and one more thing that we have seen in the purport one important important point that is mentioned here if you see what is this the place is religious place right whatever you plant here is only will be cultivated you can see here both pandavas and the sons of dhritarashtra belong to the same family but dhritarashtra mind is disclosed here in he deliberately claimed only his sons as gurus and he separated the sons of pandus from the family heritage this is what i was mentioning okay one can thus understand the specific position of dhritarashtra in his relationship with the nephews the sons of pandus as the paddy field you can see here this is the most important thing okay so as the paddy field the unnecessary plants are taken out in the when you are cultivating the paddy right so in the paddy field what are you doing you will only allow the paddy to grow and you will remove the unwanted grass you will remove the unwanted things so in in kurukshetra if it is a dharma kshetra kshetra means field right if it is a dharma kshetra only dharma should be growing not the 
adharma so you have to pluck out the adharma right so that means who is uh, who said dharma is there pandava said and adharma is there the kaurava said so in kurukshetra which is dharma kshetra so what should be cultivated what should be growing only pandava should so only pandava should win not kauravas so the effect of the kurukshetra the effect of the dharma kshetra is that only dharma will win and we also can see that the lord krishna is in the side of pandavas so lord krishna is in the side of pandavas means lord krishna can only be there on the dharma side okay so wherever Pan krishna is there the dharma is there so that is also one reason the kurukshetra is also called dharma kshetra because krishna is standing there now okay krishna is standing there so kurukshetra is also called as dharma kshetra in that dharma kshetra adharma will be plucked that means kauravas will be killed kauravas will be killed that is the fear in dhritarashtra that is the one fear in dhritarashtra so another past time about um, kurukshetra why it is dharma kshetra okay this is one reason we have seen another past time is uh, you know lord parishara right lord parishara so lord parishram was a son of jamadagni okay lord parishram was a son of jamadagni jamadagni so one day what happened uh, there was a king who came to the place of uh, jamadagni ashrama and he asked for food okay he asked for shelter so then one what uh, jamadagni did actually that king he went to some battle he won the battle and he came along with his soldiers there and his soldiers are so many so many akshohini sainya is there soldiers are there so jamadagni was a normal sadhu he cannot host so many people okay and it is not possible for me to host some 1 lakh people because all my property i have to sell even if i sell all my property i cannot satisfy 1 lakh 2 lakhs people who are coming uh, to whom uh, no i have to satisfy so that king when he came and asked for the for hosting the uh, soldiers and giving the shelter then jamadagni has to offer them the food and prasad everything right so jamadagni was having a kamadhenu okay the cow kamadhenu so using the kamadhenu he served all uh people of uh, that uh, king soldiers so then that king was surprised okay you being a normal sadhu who is staying in normal ashram you are so rich that you can satisfy lakhs of people okay then i want to get this position that's why i am fighting with so many kings and i am killing so many kings so that i can become a richest of all in this world i am doing that i could not become but you being a normal sadhu you be care okay so then he asked that kamadeen that king asked give me your kamadeen so that i will become richer than you but jamadagni did not agree for giving that kamadeen because he wanted that kamadeen so that he can you know help his uh, uh, you know disciples and he can also host the people who are coming like this and he can take care of everybody and then he can spiritually go okay so then he started uh, then one king if one king ask for something and if that fellow does not give what will happen he will declare a war right he will declare a war so that king has declared a war against jamadagni so jamadagni is not a warrior okay and jamadagni has uh, 100 sons okay in which parashuram also was one son at that parashuram was not there he went somewhere okay he went somewhere so then uh, that king has killed all his 100 sons okay because 100 sons were fighting against uh, that king and uh, to support jamadagni so jamadagni uh, that ki- uh, uh, that, that king has killed all the sons then uh, jamadagni also and his wife also okay then uh, no no the, so 
So what happened uh, when Parsh uh, Lord Parshuram came, Jamadagni told everything. Then he has uh, asked. Jamadagni has so much uh, mystic powers because he because of his uh, you know pious activities and his tapasya. He has so many mystic powers. He can also again give the birth again uh, make them alive. Okay. So then Parshuram said, "I uh, Parshuram has declared a war against all kshetriyas who are not pious." Who are not following the, uh, you know, religious principles. Okay, so then he declared a war and he killed all the kshatriyas twenty-one times. So uh, Parish, Lord Parishram, Parishram was a, uh, you know, direct god, right? He is a god himself. So Parishram went and he killed all the kshatriyas who are not the pious and who are not ruling as per the scriptures. Who killed all the kshatriyas, and he has not killed only one time. He has killed. Uh, twenty-one times, and when he killed twenty-one times, he killed in this place, Kurukshetra. Okay, so the blood of all Kshatriyas, you know, uh, was flowing like seven rivers in that place. When Parshram killed so many Kshatriyas, right? So the whole blood, uh, you know, he brought to this Kurukshetra place, and he made it as the seven rivers there. It it has flown like a river. The blood has flown like a river. So it came as a, a river. The blood came as a river to this place, and it became seven rivers there. So then, uh, Lord Parshram has uh, done uh, a agnya there, tapasya there. Okay, sacrifice. He has done a sacrifice there. So after doing a sacrifice, uh, he made the whole place as a uh, you know pilgrimage. Okay, the pious place, uh, so that uh, uh, you know anybody comes there becomes pious. Okay, like that he made that. So even devatas come there, Indra, Varuna, all devatas come there and do the sacrifices there, the fire sacrifices, right? So they do there. So because all devatas come there and does the fire sacrifice, even Parashuram has done the fire sacrifice. This place has become famous there, and this place has become. Dharmakshetra there. Okay, this is also one reason why uh, the power of this dharma and the power of uh, this, uh, you know, uh, uh, sac sacred power is there in this uh, place. Okay, even if Kauravas die, they will go to Swarga because of the place, place influence. So, this is one, <laughs> this is another reason why this place has so much importance. Okay, this place has so much importance. So this is uh, one thing, and second thing, what we need to understand is about Dhritarashtra. Is Dhritarashtra is blind by nature, but blind from the birth. Okay. Uh, let us say he is not only blind physically; he is also blind spiritually. Okay. He is blind spiritually because. He could not feel or he could not realize when Krishna is right in front of him, he is not able to understand that Krishna is Supreme God. Okay. That is, the, that is because uh, Dhritarashtra is spiritually blind. Spiritually also blind. And also we should understand one fact from here. The, a blind person showing a path to another blind person. What will happen? <laughs> they will fall in the pit. <laughs> right? A blind person showing the path to another blind person. All Duryodhana and his uh, brothers are also blind spiritually. Right? Because Pandavas are not blind spiritually. Pandavas could follow religious principles, whereas uh, Duryodhana and his brothers are not following the religious principles. So that is the reason. The reason for why Dhritarashtra and his brothers are not religious is because his father and mother are blind. Okay, they are not seeing. They are they are giving the they are showing the path to his their sons, right? So if if a parent is blind, children also will become blind, right? So if you want your son to become prahlad like devotee. You should also become prahlad like devotee. You should not become like 
हिरण्य कश्यप ओके इफ यू बिकम हिरण्य कश्यप इफ यू इफ यूर 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 चिल्ड्रन कैन नॉट बिकम सो बिकॉज ऑफ द रीजन धृतराष्ट्र एंड गांधारी आर ब्लाइंड गांधारी इज ऑल्सो ब्लाइंड बिकॉज शी हेज ब्लाइंडेड हर आईज आर्टिफिशियली so because his her wife is her, her husband is blind so she also does not want to see anybody because she is a pativrata <laughs> because she want to follow the pativrata dharma she could not give guidance to her sons okay pandavas also don't have does not have a father at least kunti was not blind okay kunti devi has guided her pandavas so they become pious they become you know devotees of krishna okay but uh, uh, duryodhana and his brothers have not become the devotees of krishna because gandhari also folding uh, you know uh, uh, folded uh, blinded her eyes and um, duryodhana sorry dhritarashtra also blind so that's why the kauravas became like this okay so that's why krishna once tells dhritarashtra also and gandhari also that you may be following pativrata dharma but because of you your sons became like this okay so if you are not you know blinding your eyes like this your sons could have become you know good people okay pious people so it's not important always that you follow pativrata dharma and uh, uh, you know neglect your sons okay so you have to balance both okay you have to balance both so you mother is the one who has to guide uh, her children if mother is you know blinding her eyes children also will become blind spiritually okay like uh, kauravas our children will become if if we are not spiritually awakened okay that is the importance of we being in krishna consciousness if you are not a devotee of krishna if you don't follow the you know religious principles your children also will not follow the religious principles okay so it is very important that you become an example for your children it is very important that you set yourself as an example not somebody else okay you should not tell that your sons your you know your children go and sit in prabhu ji's class <laughs> okay so that you will become you know religious but i will remain like that only if you say like that then it is highly impossible that your children's can also become religious okay so you have to follow and you have to set an example to your children so that your children also will grow religiously okay like pandavas otherwise they will become kauravas so they will also die like kauravas okay this is the essence of today's uh, chapter uh, today's uh, verse so we will see what next going to happen in this chapter so we'll try to cover up two three verses in a day so today i have taken only one verse we'll try to you know group the concept okay maybe two three shlokas into one concept maybe two three shlokas concept will be same we we'll try to group those concept into one class and we'll try to give the essence of that okay so let us try to understand detail of each verse mentioned in the bhagavad gita 700 verses we will see in detail of each verse like this today see so we try to understand right so duryodhana duryodhana's character also we will understand in the coming verses and pandava's characters also we will understand in the coming verses okay the first chapter completely is setting the scene there is no bhagavad gita taught in the uh, first chapter it is only setting the scene okay what is going to what is the uh, necessity for krishna to speak bhagavad gita in the battlefield krishna could have spoken bhagavad gita in dwarka and krishna could have spoken bhagavad gita in uh, uh, astinapur when uh, pandavas were there okay but krishna did not speak uh, bhagavad gita in astinapur or dwarka or anywhere else because krishna met pandavas so many times so many other places but krishna did not speak bhagavad gita there krishna chosen to speak bhagavad gita in the war field okay so why krishna has spoken in in the war field what is the necessity for krishna to speak in this war field what was the context why krishna has spoken bhagavad gita is going to be explained in the whole first chapter okay so we will understand the context for krishna to speak bhagavad gita in this chapter so let us all so we can relate ourselves uh, 
uh, with the situation that is going to be explained in the first chapter. So then we will understand we are also in that situation. Then we will realize that we also need Bhagavad Gita. Because Krishna has given Bhagavad Gita for that situation. So when we relate ourselves with that situation, then we will understand that it is important for us also to go through the Bhagavad Gita and understand Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita is the manual for our life. So we will understand Bhagavad Gita only when we understand that it is required. Okay. So we will relate ourselves through the journey of Bhagavad Gita in the first chapter. Okay. So let us all attend all the sessions. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare. So anybody has any questions, we can take a couple of questions. It is important you ask questions. Then only I can understand you understood. <laughs> Because, because um, Dhritarashtra was a materialist person. Okay. He knows that, you know, they are fighting in Dharma Kshetra and he knows only Dharma can win. But still, because he is materially attached to the kingdom so much that he does not want to lose his kingdom. Somehow, with Adharma, he can fight and with Adharma, he can win. This is the nature of Dhritarashtra. That is the nature of the That's why he followed only Adharma. And even when this uh, uh, dice game he has introduced, right, in the Kurukshetra, he was just silent when, uh, uh, you know, Dhritarash, uh, sorry, Dushyasana was disrobing, uh, uh, you know, Draupadi. Okay. That is a very sinful act, right? In front of everyone in this uh, uh, Hastinapur. Uh, and... Uh, and uh, what is it? Draupadi was a respectful, respectable, right, for uh, Duryodhana and Dushyasana because uh, she was a uh, wife of his uh, elder brother. Okay. He, he should respect uh, uh, Draupadi like a mother. But he is disrobed. He wanted to see her naked. Okay. So, but still, Tritrashtra has uh, convinced, uh, Tritrashtra was silent. Uh, so, that is his nature. But does he not know that it is a sinful act? He should not do it. He knows. But because of the attachment that he has towards his sons, so he wanted his sons only to become the king. So he allowed his sons to do all adharma. Okay. So in the same way, he is now allowing his sons to fight with Pandavas. Okay. Any other questions? Yeah. In fact, uh, physically, if you see, uh, Kaurava side, 11 Akshohini army is there. Whereas in the Pandava side, only 7 Akshohini army. Right? Kauravas are 100 people. Pandavas are only 5 people. So, 100 people, 5 people, always there will be a hope that 100 people will win. Okay, because we also know we don't care about dharma, but what we care is I have strength, I will win. Okay, so and another thing is Krishna is in the side of Pandavas, but Krishna has taken a promise, Krishna has given a oath that you know I am not going to hold the weapon, I am only going to stay in the war field and I will only give you suggestions, but I am not going to fight, he said. So, Krishna, if Krishna is not fighting. And Pandavas are only five people, and my sons are uh, hundred people, and my sons' side uh, soldiers are eleven Akshohini, and uh, Pandavas uh, war warriors are only seven Akshohini. So there is a high chance that my sons will win. That's why Dhritarashtra allowed Pandavas, uh, Kauravas, to fight with Pandavas in Dharmakshetra, even though it is Dharmakshetra. Okay, but still a tinge of fear is there in him. That you know the influence of Dharma Kshetra might kill my sons. Mm -hmm. That's why this anxiety. In this verse, the anxiety of uh, Dhritarashtra should be seen. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Is it like that? Oh, another secret. <laughs> 
ಸಂಜಯ ಸಂಜಯ ಜಯ ಓಕೆ ಓಕೆ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ವಂಶ ಕಲ್ಪತರೂಪ್ಯ ಕೃಪಾ ಸಿಂಧುಭ್ಯ ಪತೀತಾ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ